amigos, hola amigas, Storin here from Hoovalux with another little mini video. This is uh, another vacuum cleaner that's going on eBay, it's my Mila S7. And I have to say, I do like this vacuum cleaner very much. I would like it, or I do like its performance as much as, uh, as the Cebo X4 I have. The only thing with this is, this is so heavy. This is a very heavy vacuum cleaner. But how it works is absolutely amazing. The, the functionality of it, you can't go wrong. German build quality at its best, I have to say. So I'm going to take you off the tripod. There you go. I'll take you on a little tour. So this is the Miele S7 210. 1800 watt, maximum 300 watt. Controlled via this dial. Now it does have a little bit of wear on it, but it works properly. It works all perfectly. So you can control it from here. That is the indicator, the bag full indicator light. This is the exhaust filter. Now it does have a little bit of scratches and a bit of wear, but it's it, it's, <laughs> it, it works really well. Automatic height adjustment on there. This is the exhaust filter. Now this just came, or this this type just comes with a bog standard um, exhaust filter. But I've upgraded this to the charcoal and the HEPA filter. So when you get this, I've upgraded this. I haven't used it much to be honest since I've had it. I do, uh, maybe I've used it like once, once a week just on this middle floor. So. Here we have the handle. It's had a new, it's had a replacement handle. That's the on-off switch, and that's the button to set it to work on floors, which stops the brush roll, and on carpet, then which starts the brush roll. It's got the tools attached to it, so it's got the crevice tool, and it's got the dusting brush, and there's also an upholstery brush up here as well. It's got all the tools you need. They are clean, they are a little bit worn, but there's nothing wrong with them. For what, what this vacuum cleaner does, it's, it's absolutely fine. So I'm going to release the cord hook. It's a very long cord on this, I have to say. I absolutely love it. I'm just going to pop the cord down the stairs. Take that out of the way. There. So there's a little thing there, so you can put the hook oops, there you go, onto the handle and there's like a groove at the side and you can push the cable into that then to keep it out of the way. Uh, this is the wand release. So you just pull it up. Okay. Again, trying to do this one-handed. <laughs> there we go. Release the handle. It's got a very long stretchy hose and then as a safety feature if you push this down and then pull it push it right down click until you hear a click that way when you're pulling it it'll just follow behind you it's not going to topple over now it doesn't look like much but this hose is actually very 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 stretchy If you push this button, that releases it. Uh -huh. There's a button underneath here, you push that, and then it extends up. So you can do up high, do all your cobwebs, bits and bobs, down in the skirting, edges. It's got a really long hose on it, and um, it's just really good quality. I really do like it. So I'm having to say goodbye to this because I want to buy a brand new Siebel X4 Pet Boost. Pop that over there. And there's a latch in there, so you just push it down. And that's it. That's it in. Uh, I'll turn it back around so you see the front. Get the, get the hose back in. 
Uh, lift up this little handle here. This opens the door. There we go, and you hear a clip as it clips open. That's the uh, full bag valve indicator. Uh, just a little bit of fluff in here, but no dust. Completely spotless. There's shadows, but there's, no, there's not. Oh, that's from one of those little smelly bags that I use. I'll clean all that out. So anyway, it's got a uh, HEPA filter bag in there. So you literally just push it down, pull this out. When you take the bag out, there's an automatic seal on it so you don't get covered in the crap like you do with a bagless vacuum cleaner. So put the bag in, close that up. Make sure it's in. Close the lid. And there we are, it's closed. So, I think we'll give it a quick demo. And before I go on, before I do the demo, I, I need to mention that there's a plastic plate that goes along here, which is missing. It was missing when I had it. And apparently they were renowned for falling off. So it came off with the previous owner and it just didn't, it didn't come with it. So that is missing, which is just purely cosmetic. It doesn't affect the use of the vacuum cleaner whatsoever. It is just just cosmetic. But for the vacuum cleaner that you're getting, this German Miele, it doesn't really matter to that personally. So the other thing I like about this is you press the foot release and it lowers down and it's got a swivel action. A really good swivel action in my opinion. Uh, when it comes to the controls, from when you're looking at it from the front, they're upside down, but when you're actually using the vacuum cleaner, this this is the side, the end that you're looking at mainly. So it, when you're looking down in like this, you can just turn it down or turn it up. So I'm going to turn it on onto floor mode, so we won't hear the brush roll. And it's got a very nice slow start uh, uh, up as well. So I'll do this again. Absolutely awesome. Okay, I've put down a little bit of talcum powder again so I can do this demo for you to see. Release the pedal and put it on carpet mode and I'm going to switch it on on high. Thank you. 
has got very, very good suction. I mean, this is only a short pile of carpet, but it really does lift up the pile. You know, you can see where you've been. I absolutely love it, and I will be sad to see it go. But um, my SIBO beckons, and maybe one day I will get another one of these. But until for now, I hope you enjoy it, and uh, it's goodbye from me. And from the... I don't know the dogs aren't there. I don't know where the dogs are. I think they jumped on the bed. Um, so good night to everybody. Thank you.